good morning, hello, good morning, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. In nine minutes, I'm going to go on live stream with my studio members because we have naked yoga class on this beautiful sunny morning. But I just wanted to say hello to the, world, the wider world, invite you to come um, join us, become a studio member. You, the, the link will be in my bio below. Hi. Um, and so for a few minutes here, I'm just gonna flow outside by the pool, warm up my own body. Um, I think I'm gonna teach a yin class this morning in the studio. And I got a new shawl. Hi. Okay. Yoga flow for a couple minutes here, and then I'm gonna switch over to studio live stream for a full yoga class workshop. The first one that I've done in a little while, I'm excited.
<laughs> Ronald is asking if I think yoga will help heal the body when you've been in an accident, you've got sprains and bruises. And I think my answer is pretty much always yes. Yoga is always going to help. Um, and it might help in a way you don't expect. Like it might not heal directly the physical injury, but it can at the very least help you to find some more mental peace. So instead of the pain in your body taking over and making your life unbearable, yoga practices, they can help the body directly, but they also, firstly, can just help with pain management and uh, helping the mind to find peace even if there's pain still in the body. And then if the pain goes away in the body, then that's extra bonus. So it's always worth doing. It's always worth doing the practice because yoga is helping you connect with your breathing. Breathing is helping your nervous system, and your mind, and everything to come into this peaceful harmony, which then actually puts you in a much better state to heal. So if you have an injury, you're more likely to heal from it if your body is at peace, if your mind is at peace. And by peace, I mean you're not fighting it. You're not like, oh God, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Like, if you can get yourself to just be like observing in a, in a state that's more calm, like I'm aware of the pain, I can still breathe, you're setting yourself up there for some actual healing to take place. You can think of it like, a, you know, if there's an emergency happening, like you're driving a car and the people in the, round, the, people in the car, your passengers are screaming, it's not helping you do a better job of driving through a situation that's dangerous. So you're gonna, want the car to be peaceful and then you can still navigate through a dangerous or um, very stimulating situation. So very similar for your body. You're the driver and we want to try and make all the voices in the head, all the feelings in the body calm down and then the energy in your body instead of going to feeding those thoughts goes to actually healing the actual injury. So yes, yoga, always a good idea. Um, I got a few requests today from studio members who want to do yoga that's going to help with a restless heart or a restless mind. So exactly what I'm talking about. The feelings on the inside are a little bit so we can use our body, physical body, to calm the emotional mental body instead of trying to think your way into being calm you can move your way into being calm so taking action in the physical body has a result in the abstract inner world so if you're sitting there and you're like, gosh, I've got all this stress or all these ideas and I can't make them stop, and you're trying to think of a way to make them stop, you're just throwing more fuel on the fire of thinking. If you need the thinking to slow down, come into the body, the physical body and move it, and the thinking will give way. Does this make sense to you? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's time. I'm gonna switch over to studio. There's a link in the description below. So you guys, if you wanna come join, um, be over there in just a minute or two. And we're gonna do a, a yoga practice, a naked yoga practice, 
and it's going to be continuing, continuing with what I was just speaking about right now. So yoga poses, yin poses, slow movement deep in the body that will help the mind and the heart settle on down into a peaceful state. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you over in the studio space. Love, 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 love.